Let's to Richard Crane down there. The tune called The Merlot Stomp. Show coming to you from Seattle today. Actually in Woodenville, but we call it Seattle here. All sorts of people want to be mayor of, uh, of Seattle running in the August uh, primary, including candidates that uh, you might not find in other parts of America. In order to run for mayor in Seattle, it doesn't hurt to have a beard uh, whatsoever and to ride a bicycle. And uh, you want to be, you want to be uh, against uh, gentrification. Uh, which is development that comes too close to where you live. And, uh, <laughs> and you want to be in favor of mass transit, but um, don't raise taxes. And uh, pro-bikes and pro-chicken. You want to be pro-chicken in <laughs> Seattle. People have chickens in their backyards. The big issue in Seattle, uh, last time I was here, was the, uh, the viaduct, the Highway 99 freeway along the waterfront, which was damaged in the 2001 earthquake. It's still in use now, but something needed to be done, and so there's a big, long debate about it. Actually, about 10 years' worth of debate uh, <laughs> in Seattle, where you have a lot of overeducated people who don't uh, have that much else to do. They can go to hearings <laughs> and, and so on. Some people wanted the viaduct to be retrofitted for the next earthquake. Um, Amish people, the Amish community, wanted to have a dirt road uh, put through. <laughs> And um, just the one lane. Um, the Baptist community said, don't do anything because the Lord will come again soon. And uh, the socialist element said, let's build a tunnel. And so they're building a tunnel, a $2 billion tunnel, 1.7 miles long. And uh, they have this enormous, enormous digger called Bertha, which they brought over from Japan. It's just tall as a five-story building, and, uh, and, and they're going to dig through the sand and the clay, and it can only go one way. It cannot back up because the rear end of the digger, of Bertha, Bertha's rear end, is laying concrete for this, for this enormous uh, viaduct. So if they should, uh, you know, bump into a big boulder or something and get thrown off course, this uh, tunnel could wind up on Bainbridge Island, and uh, that's, that's just how it is. Transit is not an issue in the, in the campaign. They've decided not to build a subway system uh, because it would bring in the wrong kind of people, and uh, they're going to go with light rail uh, already. There's already light rail operating between downtown and the airport, so ride it the next time you come to Seattle and see what's going on. Eventually, they will finish their light rail system, and they'll be able to catch up with Portland, which <laughs> is not a good thing to say here in Seattle, but, but there it is. The east side uh, generally is, is not sure about light rail, and they just, they just don't want the riffraff coming in. So they don't want any stops near their, near their homes. Legalization of marijuana is not an issue in the election because the state of Washington already legalized it and uh, it's been legal for a while. West of the Cascades was generally in favor and east of the Cascades was opposed, but it won uh, definitely. It was a big win. They'd, they'd had medical marijuana that was legal for a long time, and if you knew who to go to, you could get a prescription in about three minutes. Um, <laughs> so it's not a big change. Liquor Control Board is in charge of managing it. It's a, it's a headache for them, but, uh, but the voters have, have spoken. Something that 20 years ago, only people way out on the fringe would have ever mentioned. And here it is, state law. So things do change, do change. The people who were so dead set against the evil of marijuana, many of them have died. Uh, many of them from alcohol. And, uh, and so these things change. But the big thing that, that, that brought about this, this enormous change was just simple economics. Uh, the cost of putting people in prison is just exorbitant. You spend so much money on that, and meanwhile, you don't collect taxes on what is, most people agree, a major cash crop in Washington. And so, farmers pay taxes, crooks do not pay taxes, and there is, and there is, is, is the reason. Marijuana, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not 
in favor of it. I'm not opposed to it. My experience about marijuana goes way back before you. And in my experience, it's, it just makes people stupid. That's all. <laughs> and you can't outlaw stupidity. Where would you stop? So that's the news from Seattle where things do change. Mr. Pat Donahue. Jason Romero there. We're going to come back with more and pause for a brief, brief intermission and let our friends here at the Chateau Saint-Michel Winery stand up and turn around. You're listening to a Prairie Home Companion coming to you live from out under a blue sky in Seattle, Washington.